Hello everybody, my name is Lai and this video is gonna be a green screen tutorial using the iMovie app on our iPhone. The iMovie app on our iPhone finally had this really great update allowing us to add photos into our videos and while that is just very exciting and helpful, the green screen feature is just mind-blowing. I know this isn't anything new. I mean, other video editing softwares or apps have been able to do this for the longest time, but I am uh, an iMovie user and I have already uploaded around 20 videos only using my iPhone to film and only using the iMovie to edit and upload using my phone. Seriously, I just don't have a camera or a laptop, so this is just very helpful. My videos are not the best, but they're okay. They are pretty decent. And this time is just about to change. Everything is just about to change because of the new features of the new update of iMovie. The first tip I am going to share with you is how to add multiple stickers on your video. Now, we already know that we can add a photo on our video so if I say I want to because I am talking about dogs in this video let's check that my family we are just seriously dog lovers and I think I want to get a dog so if I want to add a photo of a dog then I can just tap on the plus sign and go to photos and like take this dog photo and um, tap on the three dots and tap on picture in picture so there's gonna be a dog right there, but we can see that it is on a frame, like a white frame. So dog there's lovers, and I think I want to get a dog as well. So there's like a, a square, right? What if I want just the dog? So what I can do is use the green screen feature. I am going to exit and go to PixArt. PixArt is my favorite app. You can actually use any app which allows you to make a blank screen, a blank green screen, and which allows you to add stickers, and my choice is PixArt. There is a paid version of PixArt, which I cannot afford, and seriously, the free version of PixArt just works. So I'm just gonna tap on the plus sign, and right here, here below there is a color background and let's use a green background and let's just oh, there's a and let's just resize it to let's tap on tools and crop and on top right here which has 3464 by 3464 let's change that to 1280 by 720 this one really works for me. I'm not sure if it is the only size that works for YouTube videos, but this is also what I use for YouTube thumbnails, this size. So now I have a blank green screen right here. I'm just gonna add a sticker of a dog. So let's tap on sticker and dog and this dog. Take note that the size that I chose um, 1280 by 720 is pretty much like the actual size of this video so wherever I'm gonna put the dog is wherever the dog is gonna be so let's say I want him to appear here I can resize that by the way and tilt that right here so and then I'm just gonna tap on apply and next and save and just save picture on your device and done now let's go back to my iMovie project and let's see. My family, we are just seriously dog lovers and I think I want to get a dog. So when I say I want to get a dog, let's tap on the plus sign and go to photos recently added. There we can see the green screen with the dog and tap on green or blue screen. So let's play that again. As well. I think it you can also adjust for how long the dog is going to appear on the screen so we can just tap on that and once it becomes yellow it means that I am selecting it I can just slide to extend or shorten that and as what I've said you can add multiple stickers so the trick here really is just to go back to PixArt and use the same photo and add another sticker actually I'll add the same dog we have two dogs now beside each other 
and I'm gonna save that photo. I am so sorry for all the ads. This is what I get for just using the free version. So now we can add another green screen, which is the green screen with two photos. Let's just leave that in so that this is how it's gonna look like. I wanna get a dog as well, I think. I'm so one dog pops one after the other, and I can actually do it like three times. Like we can have three dogs right there. Let's try that. Let's try adding another dog, like this cute puppy. Let's add it on the other side of the screen and just save it, seriously. Now I have three green screens with one dog, two dogs, and three dogs, you get it. And let's go back to iMovie and just And we'll squeeze it in so that it's gonna look like this. I wanna get a dog as well. I think I wanna get probably six dogs. So now I have three dogs on the screen, popping one after the other. Quite a lengthy process, but I really like the effect, like stickers everywhere. You can definitely use it for like Kim Kardashian right beside you, a baby right here, a unicorn right here, you know, the, there's just endless possibilities and you don't really have to use Pixar. You can use any app that can just make you create a green screen and add stickers or photos to it. Next trick I want to share with you is that if you have been an iMovie user for quite some time already, then you probably know that it is quite frustrating to add texts on our videos because the fonts are limited, the styles are limited, and you can't even move it around. It's either right here in the middle or right here or somewhere here at the bottom. and. It could be very limiting to our creativity because we like to probably want, um, you know, we probably want a text right here, right here, or right here. So once again, the app that I like to use is Pixar. This video is going to be an iMovie green screen tutorial. So when I say iMovie green screen tutorial, I want those texts to appear right here on the screen one by one very creatively. So let's go back to Pixar and use the green screen once again. Let's take out these dogs and just add a text. Let's start with the word iMovie. And let's just go for a simple font. I like to use like special elite and let's use black. We can change the color and I think that's okay. And let's say we want it here. Okay, so because I want the text to appear one by one, I'm just gonna save it one by one as well, like what I did with the dogs. Tap on apply and then next and then save and then go back and type green screen and save this and add the word tutorial So now we can see right here in the camera roll that we have three photos, iMovie, green screen, tutorial, all photos with a green screen. So let's just add that right here. Every time I say a word, I want that word to appear on the screen. So let's try that. It's going to be an i. Let's start with the word iMovie and let's cut it really, really short. An iMovie. Not that short. And let's add the green screen. So whenever you get this error, an overlay already exists at the playhead. It means that you just have to move a little, like this line is on the first photo or first green screen. So you just move it a little right here and then try adding again. Let's 
let's check that. And iMovie Reese. Okay, that's perfect. And the last right there that says tutorial. And let's move it. I want everything to be really next to each other so that there's no blank moment. Okay, let's check it. An iMovie green screen tutorial. I think that's perfect. So definitely you can be creative, you can do anything, or you can type in any words, you can use any font, you can use any color, and that's just very exciting. And I am very, very happy that you can finally add words into our videos just using iMovie, and of course with the help of another app, which is PixArt, but there's definitely no need to transfer to a laptop or learn how to edit videos using an entirely different video editor. That is definitely one of the best improvements of this new update. This last tip that I'm going to share with you is very cute and artsy. I find it very aesthetic in like song covers or those um, artistic types of videos and I really want to try and do it but I used to not be able to do it using iMovie alone. Now we can already finally um, find a way to do it. All we have to do is go to PixArt once again. Using the same green screen, let's just go to draw and let's choose a color, let's say white, white is okay, or yellow, I like yellow. And let's just adjust the brush size right there, and doodle stars. Um, let's say if I am at the middle, then I probably want stars right here, 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 so I'll probably doodle on six stars. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be perfect. For me, I like it like that. Cute. And let's try adding that to this video where I'm just posing and something like that. What am I doing here? Okay, let's just add that photo. Tap on the three dots and tap on the green blue screen. And there you go. If let's say for example I want the stars to blink or like twinkle, something like that. I can do this, I can shorten it like that and like super short and duplicate it let's say five times and move some of them right here. something like that, like space them apart a little and then when we play it, it's going to look like this. And if I want the stars to just like shake a little or twinkle, not really disappear but like move around a little, I can just go back to PixArt and draw the stars again six stars still and misplace them or reposition them slightly so I'm gonna use the same color yellow and yeah draw them again like intentionally draw them differently but sort of like the same if I'm making sense and let's just tap on that and save we'll see how it's gonna look like So we're gonna do it again, like shorten it and duplicate it. One, two, three, four, five. Duplicate six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And move these fill ones to the spaces where there are no green screens. So now we can check how it's going to look like. There you go. I look stupid, but the stars really are cute. And we can also do that like doodle crowns or hearts or doodle words like thank you. I think that's going to be 
like very personalized and cute and artsy so definitely this is one of my favorite things to create using the green screen blue screen feature of the iMovie next to the fonts and new types of text texts anywhere that's just very creative and I love it very very much. So that's it for the three tips on how we can use the new green screen feature for the iMovie. I am very very excited to explore what else I can do but for now that's all I've got. Please comment down below any suggestions and let me know what you think about these tips. Let me know if you have more tips. Thank you thank you very much for watching. Please do consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Tap on the notification bell and once again thank you thank you very much for watching